Hi, I'm here to talk about the Avatar, the last airbender character of Mai. And Mai is a character who's more of a side character, but a side character I think is a big standout, one of the better supporting characters in the Avatar, the last airbender franchise. And my, uh, the actress, I'm uh, not quite sure how to pronounce the name, you can let me know in the comments, but I, li I like uh, her voice a lot. I think Maya is a character that's a lot of fun to watch, even if she's not having fun, because Maya is a character that gets bored very easily, and uh, she often has an attitude where it seems like she really doesn't care what's going on, and I really enjoy that about her, and it leads to a lot of the, some of the more subtle, really funny moments and lines in, in the series. I really enjoy her. So there's kind of a comedy relief, but a kind of different comedy relief than what I'm used to, because I tend to think of comedy relief characters as characters that are very loud, expressive, uh, they joke around, they're... I, I, th I feel like uh, characters like Sokka kind of fit that, and Ty Lee, but Mommy doesn't really say that that type of character. She's kind of a comedy relief in a different kind of way, and I enjoy that about her. And I enjoy the other types of comedy reliefs too, but uh, I enjoy what Mai's like, and her attitude, which seems like she doesn't really care, but she does care at least to a certain degree. She cares about Zuko, and I feel like she and Zuko kind of bring out the best in each other, in a way. And I think a lot of people want Zuko to be with Katara, but I, I think that Zuko and Mai are sweet together. I like the dynamic that they have. And um, some characters in Avatar The Last Airbender are very morally conflicted, especially Zuko. And Mai could be considered morally conflicted to a certain degree, not that she's nearly as emotional about it as other characters. But she's a character that's not really saying out and wanting to necessarily do villainous things, but when she's working for Azula, she seems to be okay with doing things that aren't very heroic and are kind of rude and kind of getting the hero's way and just cause a lot of trouble. But she does care about Zuko. She does seem to just kind of want to relax and uh, not deal with too much villainous, serious stuff. So she's a character I think there's some more ambiguity towards. And because of her more likable attributes and because of how fun her personality is, she's a character that I, I want to see things work out for her. I, I want to see her be redeemed and have a uh, happiness. And I guess she's earned that to a certain degree. I mean, certainly has to apologize to some people, work some things out. But yeah, I wish the best for uh, Mai. So I enjoy her as a character. And it did take her a long time to get involved in the plot. Um, but when she was involved, she was a lot of fun. It was a memorable character that I enjoyed having around. And I like that the live action show got her involved earlier on. Not that she's a major player early on, but she gets to be a supporting character from the first season. So I, I enjoy that. I like I think that was a good change. But uh, I do think Mai is underrated. I think she gets attention, but I don't know if she's necessarily one of the big fan favorite characters. And she's a character I'd like to see more of. I don't know if she needs a story of her own. I don't know if that's ever happened before, but. I would like to see a story where she's a major player in the story, where she gets more screen time so you can learn more about her, get some more character development from her. I'd like to see that. So you can let me know if, what you think of Mai. Would you like to see more of her? Do you think she's a good uh, supporting character, a bad one, an okay one? Uh, do you want to see her show up more often? You can share all your thoughts about Mai in the comments.